so like Chairman Aguilar said, uh, we hear a lot from our constituents on different issues, but something I've heard that doesn't seem to be being covered are the Epstein files. These files were released and like Donald Trump's sort of all over this, right? There are pictures of him with Jeffrey Epstein. He's taking multiple plane flights with Epstein with young girls on board. Uh, he is in call logs with Epstein. One of the highest trending hashtags on t Twitter right now is about Trump and Epstein. I'm not gonna repeat the hashtag because we're in a dignified setting. But yeah, y'all might want to look at that because that's highly disturbing. And again, it shows that Donald Trump is unfit for office. And by the way, he was convicted in a civilian court for sexual assault, convicted in a separate court of 34 felonies. Donald Trump should drop out of the race. Would you declassify the 9-11 um, files? Yeah. Would you declassify JFK files? Yeah, would you, I did. I did a lot of it. Would you declassify the Epstein files? Yeah, yeah, I would. All right. I guess I would. I think that less so because, you know, you don't know. It. You don't want to affect people's lives if it's phony stuff in there because there's a lot of phony stuff yeah. with that whole world. Uh, but I think I would. Donald Trump is in full scale panic mode after the release of newly unsealed Epstein docs show his name peppered all over them. Take a look whose name appears over and over and over again in the call log. As one commentator wrote, prior to marrying Melania in January 2005, Trump was calling Jeffrey Epstein in 2004 on the regular. We now have the phone messages between Epstein and Donald Trump. Trump, the phone message log that is, uh, and this is in connection with the West Palm Beach indictment of Epstein that was released on Monday. His messages are in between girls calling to confirm massage appointments and messages from the disgraced modeling agent Jean-Luc Brunel. It should be noted that Jean-Luc um, died by way of suicide in prison in 2022. Just take a look right here um, of the uh, message logs right here. And you'll see, for example, Donald Trump's name appearing again and again and again. And we see it over and over right there. The man who infamously bragged about being able to assault women with impunity does not like it when he's accused of doing exactly that. Hashtag Trump is a rapist is trending and he can't sue everyone. And you say and again, this has become very famous in this video. I just start kissing them. It's like a magnet. Just kiss. I don't even wait. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Grab them by the You can do anything. That's what you said, correct? Well, historically, that's true with stars. It's true with stars that, that they can grab women by the Well, that's what it's. If you look over the last million years, I guess that's been largely true. Not always, but largely true. Unfortunately or fortunately. And you consider yourself uh, to be a star? I think you can say that, yeah. And now you said before, a couple of minutes ago, that this was just locker room talk. It's locker room talk. And so does that mean that you didn't really mean it? No, it's locker room talk. I don't know. It's just the way people talk. Every woman lied when they came forward to hurt my campaign. Total fabrication. The events never happened. Never. All of these liars will be sued after the election is over. See, when you say things like that and then you don't follow through, it raises some serious questions about your credibility. But while Republicans are busy accusing trans people of hurting children, they are more than happy to protect and promote people credibly accused of some truly diabolical things. Jim is the voice of the American people who have felt voiceless for far too long. Whether as judiciary chair, conservative leader, or representative for his constituents in West Central Ohio, whether on the wrestling mat or in the committee room, Jim Jordan is strategic, scrappy, tough, and principled. He is a mentor, a worker, and above all, he is a fighter. And the American people know, we know, that Jim Jordan is a winner on behalf of the American people. I want to thank pastors Robert Morris and Steve Dullin they're great people. Great people with a great reputation, I have to say that. Great reputation. And Gateway Church, the team uh, has been incredible in hosting us. And I'd now like to ask Pastor Morris and Bishop Jackson to lead us in prayer. 
Well, Robert Morris just resigned from his church following allegations that he sexually abused a child. In a statement to an evangelical news site, Morris said he was involved in an inappropriate sexual behavior with a young lady. Those are his words. He didn't mention that the young lady in question was a 12-year-old girl. Donald Trump has been busy trying to make sure that nobody associates him with criminal sexual conduct, despite all of the evidence to the contrary. He's now taken to suing people who dare to call him out. He recently issued a cease and desist to halt the distribution of a fictionalized biopic that depicts him in very graphic detail raping his ex-wife Ivana. That is based on an alleged 1989 attack that was previously detailed in the couple's 1990 divorce proceedings. In her deposition, Ivana initially accused her then-husband of rape with detail, but she did later walk Walk back the claim. Trump also sued ABC News and George Stephanopoulos for defamation, arguing that Stephanopoulos defamed him by saying on air that a jury found him liable for raping E. Jean Carroll when the jury had technically, specifically found him liable for sexual abuse. And this is what we've come to. A former and potentially future president of the United States arguing that he only sexually abused a woman. His reaction to being found liable in that case was to deflect and defame. He continues to do that to this day, precisely because he never thought that he'd face justice for his actions. And soon, he might not anymore. One of the action items in the Project 2025 blueprint would revert to the Trump administration's Title IX sexual harassment and assault standards, okay? That places restrictions on the ability of survivors to report their assault and obtain literally any sort of justice. Now, Trump has relied on being able to silence his accusers in the past and is used to face zero accountability, and he wants that infallibility enshrined in law. Unfortunately for us, if he becomes president, he just may get what he wants. Thanks for watching our video. Did you know that you can support our show by becoming a subscriber? Just click the subscribe button and also ring the bell so that you get notifications when we're live or when we post new content.